Hey everyone, I'm back. The weather changed a little bit. It started off to be not as bad a morning, but little by little things changed. And this wall of smoke came in and it's pretty awful. I'm not gonna be going anywhere or doing much until we get word about what's happening. We're not in any where I live, not in any eminent danger of fire as much as just being inundated by so much smoke. It is pretty awful. I mean, I can't go outside. It's just even too hard to breathe out there. It's kind of a drag. I am just working on these babies. I almost pulled the dolls out to dress them again, but nope, not going to happen. <laughs> I can't get them out, it's too smoky. And I'm worried that it's gonna smell so bad that I won't be able to get that smoky smell out of my baby clothes and my babies. With these heads, I don't really have a choice. They've been out and I've been working on them. And so what I'm gonna do is, after a lot of this dissipates, I'm gonna let them just kind of air out and um, then give them a good sniff test and see if they smell bad. If they smell bad, then there's nothing I can do. I don't think that's a smell you can get out. But if they survive it, then we'll be okay. Right now, I am putting some eyebrows. I'm putting some eyebrows on Natalie. And I put a little bit more color on her. I just finished her hair, it's still wet. So I'm going to do a light brown hair on her and leave this kind of sparse. And then right up here at the top, I'm probably going to do a tuft of purple. That's what I'm thinking right now. That may change. Who knows? It depends how I'm feeling, what's going on. And mostly I just keep coming out here sporadically throughout the day. Mostly to distract myself from all of this. It's a little bit um, wor worrisome, you know. It's quite thick. It looks like like a fall or a winter day outside as if it were about to to start raining or something but it's not clouds it's smoke so I'm gonna hope for the best prepare for the worst and try not to worry too much because there's not a lot I can do um, except wait and hope that we're gonna be okay I really wanted to do light hair on these babies and I think I just I'm used to doing babies a certain way, and I just did them that way. Doggone it. Oh well, I stepped out of my comfort zone a tiny bit. There she is. I'll show you real quick the other babies. I just filmed throughout the day, so it might just be um, kind of a grab bag of, of different moments today. Probably won't be entirely cohesive. I think I will call it a day for that baby. Let her dry a minute. Mermaid baby is done and varnished. Feels good. So that baby, I don't think I'm gonna put hair on that baby, so that baby's done. I just have to put eyelashes in. She's varnished and ready to go. Actually, I have to varnish horns, so I will take them off so that I remember to varnish them. I'm gonna air dry varnish them. And this little guy is looking good. I just need to varnish him and his horns. I'll give you a, a quick peek. Sorry, this little guy is done. This baby's nice and varnished, just needs hair and lashes. Man, I'm cooking today. This little guy is all done. He just needs a quick varnish. His eyebrows are done. I don't know, I might play with his eyebrows a little bit more. And this little freckle face is done and just needs a quick varnish. She has a little bit of sparkles on her. I hope they um, still sparkle through the varnish. That would make me super happy. I'm going to do that right now. I love the way colors pop when you varnish. The only thing is, is when the mat dries, it goes back down. I'm going to go back to the fires because that's what's going on right now in my world. Um, but a friend of mine posted to Facebook she said I was in the Berkeley fires and I lost a lot of things I can never get back and now that I'm possibly facing this I'm 
packing up things that probably a lot of people wouldn't think to pack because they don't know how much they'll miss it. And I don't think she means like your TV or your, you know, Sex in the City DVD collection. I think she means like family photos or, you know, something special that your kids made or that you inherited from your grandmother, that kind of thing. I think for me, the only thing besides my kids, the dog, all of our home pictures before pre-internet when people still printed out pictures and had them, I think I would grab those. I have them all in one big bucket up in my attic and they're right at a place where we just have to reach up and grab them. They're there on purpose in that spot just for that reason. And just because those are pictures of my kids and um, that's, all, that's all I have left of my daughter, so I would want those. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I would miss stuff, but I don't think there's anything that, you know, I'd go, oh my gosh, I can't live without that, or my life would be awful if I don't have that anymore. He's gonna be pretty cute. And the horns I am going to do with air dry. Let them all dry and get them going. Woohoo! This is so much fun. So these three guys have to go in the oven. Then I can clean up all of this, air dry on those, clean up all this, and get to our root and some hair. Hey everyone, it is Monday. And I am doing my darndest to get these babies rooted. I am working on all of them. Just giving her a little bit of baby hair up here. I actually really like this baby hair. It's um, a little bit more coarse than I'm used to using, but it's just perfect. And I only have a tiny bit left, so I have to have to use it wisely. And then I think I'm going to do some a little bit of blonde or white up on the front. I really like the way he turned out. Super cute. His hair also is a little bit more coarse than um, mohair I'm used to using, but I like the way it turned out. And my Mara baby, he just has a tiny little tuft up top. It's got a tiny bit of blue and a little bit of white. Just an itty bitty bit. And Maggie got a mohawk. It's a tiny bit of white and a little bit of this lavender, which I think works well with her purpley head. And my little gnome baby got a little tiny bit of blonde. This is the same thing I'm gonna do to Olive. Just this little X-Men streak there. And this is Natalie. And Natalie got top rooted with some pink and some purple and some blue and some brown. And I'm waiting for her eyelashes to dry. I think I'm going to add a little bit more lavender in her eyelashes. This guy just got his horns put back on. I glued them on and they popped off. So I tried a different glue. It's hit or miss with E6000. Sculpey likes crazy glue. And vinyl doesn't like any kind of glue, particularly any glue with silicone in it. So I tried a jeweler's glue just to get mostly the horn to stick to the hardware. And then, as I thought, some of that glue came out around here. <clears throat> That's okay, I'll put some matte varnish and then hopefully I can glue inside here and get this horn sticking just a little bit better. Everyone, I am back. It is Tuesday and I'm feeling just a little bit more myself. I'm in a much better mood than yesterday. Yesterday was so grim, I'm telling you. It has been wild here in California. But today the sun has come out. It is, there's no blue sky. You can see all the smoke in the air still, but you can actually see in front of you now. Yesterday, it was so yucky. Um, I went outside to close the windows in my car. I left them cracked just a little bit. And my seats in my car are black and they were just gray with ash. It was really gross. And, um, 
and it was hard to breathe when you were breathing it kind of burned your throat and it was really weird it was just awful and everything was gray and gloomy and sad we have the covid thing going on i know some people don't think it's real or whatever i, I that is not something i'm going to lend any attention to um and I, I don't have the patience for that but we've got the covid thing going on and then we had the fire thing going on and this whole election thing on that is causing so much division it just feels awful if any of you follow me on social media you know where i stand in regards to our current president and administration i don't need to go on and on about that here but let's just say it lent, it lent itself to all of the other crazy business that was going on and I was just like feeling rough yesterday. But today feels a little bit more hopeful and I'm being cautiously optimistic because we have had hours like this where it feels really great. It feels like things are moving in a better direction and then we'll just get hit by a wall of smoke. So, you know, you just take it as it comes and you just hope for the best. And that's what we're doing here. So now is the time if there's any weirdness going on with blushing or, you know, sometimes pigment will, will gather in spots and look a little messy. This is the time where I just kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, sometimes it's just little bits and pieces, you, you know, you want to tidy up but I don't want to stick these babies in for another bake. They don't really need it. This crazy Maggie with her mohawk. Isn't she hilarious? Oh my gosh, I love this. So this will soften things up a bit, I think, I hope. Ab Miles, look at how pretty. I kind of want to make this baby again. I don't even know if the sculpt is available. That's one of those sculpts that I got um, when somebody was getting rid of some heads and I purchased it. But I really like this sculpt. It's very Dolly-esque, but it's super, super delicate. And when you paint it in person, it's just it would just make the prettiest little girl baby. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a girl or a boy baby, but it is gonna be a gnome baby. So I bought some red yarn to create a pixie hat, or I also bought some red fleece and I might just sew a pixie hat. I just want a red pixie hat, I don't know why, and maybe just a beige, beige blanket. That just seems like the right thing to do. What a cute face, right? Those eyes are They're like brown and gold in the middle and then they kind of a dark blue on the edges. I'm just seeing if there's anything here that needs to be cleaned up. I like it. Now I have made these babies when I first started reborning. I did them a couple of times. I was new and I was like choosing inexpensive sculpts from Bountiful Baby and just choosing things that were super cute and fun. I don't think I would reborn them as traditional reborns anymore, but that being said, they make excellent fantasy babies. They're perfect. They translate well to fairy or elf or gnome. They have those sweet eyes and those little tiny kissy lips and those little turn the uppy noses. I think they're perfect and she has some lavender hair some white hair some pink hair her eyes are lavender and pink and she has brown eyelashes and a little spray of freckles across her face she's pretty cute I think she's cute and here is Olive and her hair doesn't need brushing she has some cotton candy and a little lavender hair and her lashes are rooted in brown, baby brown. And then they have these light tips and I left them super long just for fun. And she has little brown freckles all over her face. She's pretty cute too, she's done. I have to put magnets on these babies. I'll do that after their Mod Podge dries on the inside. 